Hello, my name is Nicole Frankie, and I am the sports dietitian for Sentara Orthopedic and Sports Medicine. Today we'll be talking about hydration for sports performance. So today we will review hydration versus dehydration and what those two differences are. We're going to be talking about different recommendations to maintain hydration and also some different tips. So first we're gonna talk about hydration. So why is hydration important as an athlete? It's important for athletes to consume adequate fluids to perform at your very best. When we're not consuming enough fluids, we may go into a dehydrated state. It's gonna be important to consume enough fluids before, during, and after exercise to maintain that optimal performance to not suffer any side effects or poor performance. Be mindful of different weather changes, exercise intensity, and new environments. So for example, if it's a really hot day, maybe really Really humid out, you're gonna really want to make sure you're consuming enough hydration, you know, maybe consuming enough fluids before exercise and potentially incorporating electrolytes, which we will talk about as well. It can be a challenge for some to figure out, well, how much do I need to drink? I'm not really sure. Because everyone has sweats at a different rate. So basically, when we exercise, our body temperature becomes hotter and we sweat to help cool our body down and get it to a more comfortable temperature. So when we sweat, we lose a lot of electrolytes such as sodium potassium and magnesium, just to name a few. And we wanna make sure that we're replacing those uh, electrolytes with food or fluid after exercise and potentially during to make sure that we are maintaining hydration, again, to not impair our sports performance. So what is dehydration? So dehydration is caused by too much loss of fluid from the body. And this can impact reaction time and impaired CNS function. So think if you're playing basketball and you have a slow reaction time, are you gonna be able to react fast enough, get down the court and play at your best or even impaired CNS function, so impaired reaction time and things like that. So for example, playing golf or fencing, for example, we wanna make sure that we're able to react as quick as possible which may be impacted if you're dehydrated. Different signs or symptoms of dehydration would include dry mouth, fatigue, nausea, headache, or thirst. So keep all of those in mind. Maybe the next time you're working out to think, okay, am I dehydrated? Let me think if I have any of these symptoms and make sure that I'm stepping up my game in terms of my hydration. So hydration recommendations. So these are just general recommendations. Again, they're gonna vary based on your fitness level, your gender, your age. There's gonna be a lot of different factors but kind of start with this as a baseline and kind of fluctuate and change them as needed um, to fit your sport um, and fit your activity level. So before exercise, again, if you wake up really early in the morning, you know, grab some water first thing if you have a little bit more time before a workout or um, a competition. But aim for eight to 16 ounces within 10 to 15 minutes prior to exercise, just to make sure we get that last little bit of fluid in the body before we start exercising. And during exercise, aim to sip on fluids every 15 to 20 minutes. Now, if you're doing a shorter workout, maybe 30, 45 minutes, you can play that by ear, right? You may feel, oh, you know, I'm okay. You sip a little bit, but don't feel like you really have to sip a lot if you feel okay or if it's a very short workout. Now, as workout times increase, you know, maybe you're running for an hour, you know, you have multiple workouts in the day. We really want to make sure we're drinking more during exercise. Um, so for example, if I'm training for a half marathon and I'm going on an 11 mile run, you know, that's going to be a really long run. I may need to incorporate those electrolytes because I'm sweating and I'll incorporate carbohydrates during prolonged exercise, especially exercise longer than an hour to again, uh, replace the glycogen, replace that fuel tank, increase our carb stores to help with our energy and replace those electrolytes um, to help you know, with our fluid losses that we are sustaining during exercise. And after exercise, aim to consume 16 to 24 ounces of water loss per pound of body weight. So if you are able to weigh yourself after exercise, you can kind of gauge it off of that, or at least just aim for that general recommendation. At least, you know, just make sure you're getting some fluid after exercise and be consistent with that hydration um, to help with that rehydration after that bout of exercise. And hydration replacement. So there's a wide variety of hydration drinks and powders on the market, which provide sources of electrolytes. And again, these electrolytes such as sodium, potassium, chloride, magnesium, and calcium. If you flip the label over on a bottle of Gatorade or Pedialyte or Liquid IV, those are some other electrolyte powders. You may see those on that label and be like, what are these? You know, why are these in this? It's because they're electrolytes and we need them after workouts, especially when we're losing a lot of sweat to help replace those electrolytes in the body. And again, there's lots of different brands. There's lots of different contents of sodium. There may be 
500 milligrams in this one, but 300 milligrams in this one. You know, find one that works for you and find one that fits your needs. So sports drinks have additional carbohydrates and sugar in it, which may be beneficial for longer duration exercise. So again, if I'm in that situation where I'm running for 10, 11 miles, Gatorade may be a good fit for me because it's a liquid, it has fast digesting carbohydrates and sugar in there that are gonna go right into my body for energy. Whereas if I may be lifting for 30 minutes, I may not really need a sports drink, right? because I may not really be burning through all my carb stores in that maybe quick 30 minute lifting bout of exercise. Um, so maybe for me, I would just kind of aim for a source of electrolytes, maybe like a powder or even salty foods can be a good replacement as well. So salty foods such as pickles, deli meat, goldfish crackers, salted peanuts, you know, baked chips, any kind of salty food can be used after exercise as well. Maybe grab that salty snack and some water to work on that hydration. Some hydration tips. So carry a water bottle with you, especially in today's world, some water fountains might be marked off. You might not be able to refill your water bottle. So if you're able to, you know, carry a water bottle with you, you know, find a fun color, find one that you really like to enjoy um, carrying it around, not too heavy, anything like that, you know, find what works for you as a reminder for hydration. And don't rely on thirst. Sometimes our thirst sense is a little bit delayed. So you might notice, oh, I'm really thirsty. Well, you might be a little bit dehydrated already um, if you're feeling really really, really thirsty. Um, so a good way to kind of gauge it, and it may be a weird one, but monitor the color of your pee. So if you look on the side of this slide, we have three different colors. So that hydrated state, it's kind of a very light, almost like a lemonade colored yellow. And that color, if your pee is that color, it's meaning that you're more in a hydrated state. As our pee gets into like a darker yellow, maybe even an orange color, that may be kind of a big warning sign like, hey, I'm very dehydrated. And I really want to make sure that I'm replacing my fluids and importantly as well replacing our electrolytes especially when we're dehydrated because those electrolytes are going to kind of help hold on and latch onto that water to help that rehydrate a little bit better something else you can try is hydrating with foods um, this is especially awesome in the summer when it's really hot out you know having strawberries orange slices watermelon cucumbers peaches any of those high water content foods can be really beneficial to incorporate as well to kind of sneak in that extra fluid as well and another one, try adding flavor. So it may get boring drinking just water all the time. So try adding lemon slices, cucumber or berries to add a little bit more flavor to that water as well. And thank you for joining us for this presentation on hydration for sports performance.